distant away from the big cities. In the town of Mercersburg, people began to notice light coming out of the shop where the old just in time, the coffee and ice cream shop in town, used to lie. Rumors began to spread that Miss Lena Eckstein from the Mercersburg Academy is opening a new coffee and bake shop in town. And her presence in the shop, often late at night, seemed to prove that she is indeed doing so. In many evenings, she goes in the shop and stays there for many hours. And then turning off the lights, she heads home. So the rumors are true. Miss Eckstein is working hard to put the coffee shop together with the help of a lot of her friends. Amongst them, Audrey and Bobby are two of the most important people. Uh, we actually met through a mutual friend, uh, probably like in August. Yeah, a mutual friend referred me to her and then Lena and I got lunch together. And then she just pulled me on board because I have coffee experience. My husband actually knew her when she was a child, so we've been friends for several years. Have gotten to know each other a lot better since I've been in town. She used to live on Main Street, so we're just friends. I don't have a lot of connections to Mercersburg, but uh, it's been fun because I was a barista and I managed her shop for six months in Alabama. Um, and then coming home, just through a series of events, it's been really fun to get back into coffee and kind of create my own thing and really jump off my manager experience and be able to be more involved with that. Of course, they all have very different roles in the shop. Um, we're in a social culture, so I use it to the best of my ability. So yes, I am in charge of the One North Coffee and Bake Shop Facebook page and Lena does the Instagram and so we collaborate and make sure that we're posting the same items on both pages and we put things out on what's happening in Mercersburg which um, you know our town is not that big and we have over 4,000 people on that page so it's like the daily news it's what's going on. My part in creating the shop was um, the menu, the hiring, um, a lot of the behind the bar design. So for now we're just focusing on coffees and smoothies and and some tea, beverages, different options, kombucha, and baked goods. For many people, it was surprising to see the words coming soon written on the windows of what used to be the deserted shop. Naturally, people wondered where the idea and motivation came from. The idea was Lena's. I have been in business here for two and a half years and I have heard from customers almost daily that they really wanted a coffee shop in town and I think that we really needed it and I think people really wanted um, a coffee shop and a bakery on the square. Mostly my motivation I think had to do with so many different things actually. It was kind of about just a dream I've always had of wanting to see a space like this in the Mercersburg area but also a lot of friends and um, a lot of colleagues and, and a lot of family members and people who just kept talking about it and talking about it and saying, we should have a coffee shop, we should have a coffee shop. And, um, it was something that I always wanted to do and I think I just kind of got to the point where I couldn't not do it. Yeah. Well, we really wanted to have a collaboration so that all the responsibility and the pressure wasn't on um, Lena by herself. So I do the retail portion of the shop. It's just, it's exciting to be one of the legs of the shop because I think that when you are in something all by yourself, it's, it's, it's difficult. But I think that what's gonna make the difference for this place is the collaboration between different business owners, different people in the community, um, nobody standing by themselves. We are like a four um, post stool and that's sturdy and I think that we're going to make it. As Bobby says, it requires a lot of work and collaboration between people for the shop to come into place. A lot of help has been given by the friends and families. So, so many hands and helpers came in and out of this place. We even had students coming in and doing some painting. We had friends and family members. Um, my dad actually built the tabletops on the tables. Um, that's 
farm wood from uh, my family farm. My mom, I can never thank her enough or say her name enough, but she was like constantly, she was my partner in crime. We made trip after trip shopping in random wild places for some of the furniture, for some of the equipment, for some of the decor. Uh, Lena is the owner of the coffee and bake shop, but she is very adamant that uh, we are a team and so from the baristas to the manager who's in there you know daily taking care of things um, to the baker to the volunteers and the friends that are a part of it uh, just helping pitching in where we need them we're all a team and we're in this together and it feels that way I think my most memorable experience at the shop has just been uh, going through the hiring process and creating a really strong team. I feel like all six ladies are involved at the shop currently. Um, we have a lot of fun together and we enjoy being together and it's a really good time when we're all working together. And for Ms. Eckstein, she has a very strong opinion about what this place should become. Definitely want this to be a place where people just kind of come to have conversations. I think way back when, um, or, I mean for all of time, right, people have been just enjoying conversations over good coffee and I want this to be a place where people can come and chat and spend time with friends and we have books, we have games, we have a kids corner. So uh, we have live music coming in from time to time. We have um, other events planned, and, and we just want it to be kind of a space where people can come and work, maybe, or they can just come and spend time with friends, or just kind of chill. Lena's vision was to create a shop that uh, brought the community together, and it was for the community and by the community, and I definitely feel like um, we've done that so far. Hopefully in a lot of ways, I hope that the vision kind of catches on with others in the community and they see the potential here that we see. We really, again, we, our primary focuses for the business have been producing a quality product that um, people want to come back for, that they enjoy, quality coffee, quality baked goods. But the second priority for us has been the space. That it's a community environment, that it's a gathering place for people in the community to come together and, um, and to, to come and enjoy things that they have in common. So I can tell you what our philosophy is, which is, um, again, those top two things are to offer a quality product and to offer um, a comfortable space that is promoted as a gathering place for our community. It's all about the people of our community. And so with that, I think, um, you know, we want to listen to the community and what they need, what they're looking for, and we want to meet the needs of the community, really, and be flexible to what those needs might be. In the process of creating the shop, Ms. Exxon especially considered how this shop would benefit the local community. So there are a couple of things that we've been trying to focus on um, right away and one of, the, one of the parts of our mission is to support local and definitely to bring in um, products that are locally made by our, our friends and um, community members who live near here. I also want it to be a space that's like um, that supports our artist community, particularly our local artists. Um, love to fill the walls with artwork by local artists and let them not just display it but sell it. I envision the space becoming that at some point too. I have 25 local artists on consignment and so my products change pretty much every day and so I've had a long waiting list of people waiting to get into this shop and so I'm buying wholesale from a lot of them so still a lot of my products in One North Coffee and Bake Shop are locally made. I don't sell anything that's the same so what I sell in, in my original shop is different from what I sell in One North Coffee. I have a friend Allison who is the um, the founder of our Worcester Council for the Arts. She donated this community piece of artwork, which is really cool over in the kids' area. So for the Mercersburg Council for the Arts, they used to, um, they typically set up a table at our Mercersburg Town Fest. And this canvas was 
at the table at Town Fest one year and she drew a grid on there and then set out paints. And so members of um, the town and the community came by and everybody would take um, some paint and paint a square. So all the squares on that piece of art were painted by someone in the community and I just think it's such a neat piece because it really speaks to our Mercersburg community and Allison shared that piece of art with us. Like starting any other business, the team did run into many problems and challenges along the way. Me having my own shop, not being able to be in the coffee shop every day, I would love to be in two places at once, but that's not possible. Um, and I know Lena has a full-time job at the Academy, and so she's not able to be in there all the time, but she loves her job just like I love my shop. Um, it's just an extension of who we are, and so we're just going to hustle and work and do whatever we have to do to make it successful. It's taken a lot of time outside my normal job, but, um, you know, when I think about it, we all have spare time somewhere. At the same time, I heard someone say a long time ago, people do what they want to do. And um, so when you have spare time, you do what you want to do in that time. And this was something that I really wanted to do. So you find time, you make time. Even though Ms. Eckstein had a developed plan in mind, it is inevitable to run into problems that will need to be fixed and situations that will need to be adapted to. There was some adaptation. Um, and my original plan, to be, to be honest, has evolved over many years. I actually, um, over the past three or four years at least, I looked at several spaces around town. Um, so there were other places that I considered opening a shop, not here at One North Main Street. Um, and of course the timing wasn't right, the space maybe didn't quite feel right, um, the people hadn't come together to partner with me at that time. So um, even the space kind of adapted over time, but when this space became available, um, again that was kind of what rolled me over into that place of, okay, I can't not do it. And then once we were in this space, it's really kind of a blank canvas. And, and the coming together part of that, at that time, then from there, it just, it kind of flowed. It was a lot of fun. It was an exercise in creativity and, and realizing a you know, vision. And you just kind of enjoy that process unfolding. The canvas has finally been fully painted, so the town greeted the coffee and bake shop on November 25th, 2017. It was phenomenal, and I had customers coming in one after another telling me how incredible it was, how it felt like the coffee shop had been there for years and didn't feel like it was the first day it was open. So, personally, I feel very excited for the shop. I mean, this is the grand opening right here, and people are just coming in and out. We're having a good time, enjoying your drink. I think it's really great. I think it really shows how much work is put into it, and I congratulate the next time. Oh, I think it's good. I think it's a really good idea. I think it's going to be a good way to bring students into the town. And I think that's, I think that's a wonderful thing, that sort of the town can have uh, like a new space where people come and mingle and Get to, know, get to know each other, just have a good time. Upon students return from Thanksgiving break, the coffee shop opened officially with a ribbon cutting ceremony. It was incredible. I have been a part of several ribbon cuttings, um, owning businesses for myself through the years. It was the largest ribbon cutting I'd ever been to. Um, I love that there were um, academy students that came down and the place was, was really packed and um, business people and politicians. It was, it was wonderful. You felt community that day. It was, it was a very good mix of people and cultures and age groups and um, backgrounds. And it was really nice to come together because that's what this coffee shop is going to be about. We did really, really well our first week. It was so well received. The community was so hungry for a space like this that they were just, they're thrilled. They're so excited we're here. And that's been so affirming and so exciting to, to just have that enthusiasm and that excitement. And now for us, we're saying, okay, how can we make sure that we meet their expectations and we continue to give them what they, they hoped we would be?
After the two very successful ceremonies, the team evaluated whether or not the shop turned out how they envisioned it to be. Um, it did, actually. It is. Yes and no. It's a gathering place um, from young moms to business people to classrooms. There are classes that come in and sit around and, and discuss and debate um, whatever their subject is. Um, we've had great feedback from the community. It's exactly what we wanted it to be. I think some of these things are really unpredictable. Like, What's funny is that all the years that I planned for the business, one of the one of the biggest obstacles that held me up from doing it for a long time was the um, the question of sustainability. Could the business sustain itself? For me, it was never about making a profit. It was really just about having this space for our community. Um, in a, in a small community like Mercersburg, you have to be ready to be flexible and listen to your market and find out what the people want. And so as summer comes closer, we listen. Just like we did when we opened and we started up, um, you know, I, I did a lot of listening for a lot of years to find out what people were really looking for. And so I hope to do that again as summer approaches. and. and just find out what people are looking for and then try to offer something to meet their needs. Now the shop is stably operating. The next step would be looking into the future of the shop for the betterment and improvements. So eventually we'd love to grow. I even probably have bigger visions beyond that. Lots of fun dreams to think about. In many ways, the creation of the shop had been a tiring yet exciting process for the team. Hopefully, its business would run smoothly and give the town more surprises in the future.